Hi everyone, this is Peyton Hatch with Cooker Rankin. This is going to be a very short video just explaining how to utilize the clearances routine inside of Cyclone, like a Cyclone. So we have some scan data here and we have our power lines going crossed and they're pretty much stacked right on top of each other, the power lines are. So we want to determine the ground clearance, the road clearance to the power lines. So first thing you have to do is you have to pick, we're going to go left to right, forward to back with your picks. We're essentially saying this here is lane one. Then we have to use our multi-pick. Let's pick somewhere underneath so you're crossing underneath it. So lane one, left, front to back, left to right. Lane two. Then we go pick our power line. And it's okay if you pick the top power line in this instance just because they are stacked right on top of each other. Once you have your picks done, go to tools, measure, clearances. And I'm gonna tell it to measure the vertical clearances. It draws the lines, it snaps them through, and you can see it also picks the lowest point. And because these are stacked right on top of each other, it knows that, hey, my clearances are actually to the bottom line, not the top line. And we can rotate this around. And it gives you your measurements right here, 26, 26, 27. It gives you your high spots and low spots. So even though I picked clear over here, that was 26.3. Well, here was a low spot, and it found the low spot, 26.27 along this line. You can tell it to give yourself a report. There's a real basic report, and you can print this, save it. You can also tell it to create lines, and it will snap lines right there. These can be sent out as DXFs into AutoCAD, and you can snap your own measurements to it. Another great feature is just to take a screen capture of this. Send that out as your report. It's really simple, but really powerful. It gets all the information across. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you.